I got a stack of cardboard from the local grocery store. What am I going to do with it? Hey everybody, it's Emily and it is Thursday, June the 21st and I think we passed the first day of summer and is either today or yesterday is the first day of summer and oh well kind of went right by and I'll explain why in a second but the cardboard the cardboard yes um, lasagna garden beds we need to line we, we want to cover all the bare patches that we're uncovering from taking out all the weeds and then we want you know not only to you know prevent more weeds from growing but it's also the first layer in our lasagna bed so that's why I've got all that cardboard Later on today, I hope that Benjamin is going to be helping me lay down the cardboard. And let me explain why I'm going to be needing um, help. I uh, remember in a couple of vlogs ago, I mentioned having a pulled muscle. Well, I had pulled my right oblique. Um, my right obliques in like, it feels like it's two different places. And long story short, I thought I was getting better. I felt a lot better for about two days. And... <laughs> then so I did all this activity aggravated and I felt horrible yesterday I was in such pain I couldn't believe and then uh, I ended, so I ended up actually putting a compression bandage it was um I had saved it from when I had my bunionectomy and you know I just well I felt like I needed the support I was feeling like I need to find something to wrap myself and then I looked online and sure enough you're supposed to put a compression bandage on when you pull your oblique to give it some support for a couple of days so yeah so I decided I, I realized I was going to be out of commission on it as far as doing annual any um, manual hard labor I can do things like pick blackberries Jerry's gonna have to finish the blueberries though because that's a lot of down on the ground because they're low growing bushes and then reaching up and you know and that'll aggravate the injury I don't want to do that so um, there's, uh, I have one viewer in particular that I uh, actually emailed and said, don't expect an everyday video for a week or two because of my injury. Well, actually, um, I think I will because there's still a lot. There's a lot I want to share with you guys. And if you're wondering what happened to my one, so, oh, I, she said she was going to upload a video once a week and now she's uploading one every day. Well, guys, one of the reason I came, one of the reasons I came back was because I found myself really wanting to share everything that was going on here so yeah um, but I realized you know after sending my my friend and viewer the email you know this morning I woke up I feel a lot better but I also realize you know I still need to take it easy I know that I know I need to take it easy for at least a couple of weeks but um, I realized that uh, there's still a lot that I can share with y'all and, and there were and there are some other things I want to talk about some other non garden videos that I want to do so anyway here I am and I'm gonna be showing you just some of the basics that we're getting done today so I'm gonna start with looking for blackberries the blackberries are mostly up pretty high and the reason is that you can have a blackberry that doesn't feel very ripe one day and then the next day it's ready to pick and if you don't pick it the insects might get it or a bird might get it um, I had actually these still don't seem oh that one came off came off pretty easily the other two probably need another day but I had considered having you know asking Jerry to put something over here so we could protect it from birds but I don't think it's mainly birds around here birds I think them mostly eat uh, bugs and seeds the kinds of birds we have around here <clears throat> I think our problem excuse the junk in my throat it's all these allergies from the humidity been raining um, produces mucus but anyway the um, it's mostly the insects are the culprit but yeah I think we had I think we ended up with close to half an inch of rain yesterday so I didn't have to water my blackberries by hand and yeah that's another thing Jerry's gonna have to pick up for probably a couple weeks he's gonna have to do all the watering which I kind of feel bad about but anyway So this is how many blackberries we got today. A little bit less than yesterday, but that's okay. We have a lot more coming. Here's the abundance that Jerry picked. You see his feet over there? 
So that's at least three cups of blueberries there. It's awesome. Yeah, let's see what the blueberry bushes are looking like. This one was almost naked anyway. Uh, still a few left. A few green and purple ones starting to get ripe. Not a whole lot though. We've cleaned most of them out. So we've got a gallon, maybe a little over a gallon of blueberries so far this year. I am very happy. Now you are going to witness, witness me live and in person trying a piece of dinosaur kale or lacinto kale. Um, I want to see if it's as peppery and gross when it starts to bolt as a red Russian kale. Because if it's not, you know, we could be eating it. Hmm, let's see. I didn't really like raw kale in the first place. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> not good enough that I wanted to swallow it. But it's actually, it is not as strong as the red Russian kale. Um, if it's cooked and I don't do too much, it might be okay. So I might use those leaves. Okay, so right now, let's check out what, how Benjamin helped me and what Jerry did as far as weeding. We're making a lot of progress. I'm going to start over here with this pot because this is very obvious. Jerry, I, I told him he can go ahead and pull out this. <laughs> I don't need it. Actually, no, you know what? I will harvest this. We're going to have this tonight? Yeah, we're going to have red malibur spinach tonight. So whatever is in here, I'll um, pull up, cut off the roots, wash off, and we'll use that as part of what we're going to eat tonight. But yeah, he cleaned this out. Remember, there, was, there, were, there were lamb's quarters and grass and just all sorts of mess. I mean, look at how clean this looks now. It just used to be a mess of grass and other weeds. Isn't that cool? Pretty much all that's left is this by the kiwi right there. And once I'm healed, or at least better, I can get down there. Those, those are weeds that come out really easily by the roots. Okay, let's walk on over here. And eventually we need to figure out where we're going to keep these cages when we're not using them. Hey, let's check out the little... Um, Baby cucumber I've got so far. How is it doing? Look, it's growing. It's got new growth. Yay! Isn't that cool? And this pepper doesn't know which way to go. I, I should actually, maybe, in, well, should I encourage it to be over there? Uh, I don't know which way to. I guess it would be better to be up here since I've got a cucumber that's going to go there. But check out the asparagus now. I'm going to ask Jerry to find a few rocks to weight him down. But, yeah, Benjamin helped me. Uh, put down a lot of this cardboard and down here. He helped me patch up some of the open spaces here where there had the leaves growing, like over here and over there. Um, I had him stick some smart pots. There was some bare dirt showing here, so I had him stick some um, remnants of smart pots there. And look here. Got this all covered with cardboard. And now we can see what, um, what Jerry got accomplished today. The only reason he didn't finish pulling these lamps quarters was he was afraid. I told him, you know, just leave one plant over here by the carpet. And, you know, fine, because we're going to be building a bed here. But he, was, he, didn't, he wasn't sure if he should take them all out or not. So I told him, yeah, to, I mean, just leave one plant. Actually, this one's already, this one's getting dried seeds. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> check out the piles. I mean, look at it. Let me back up over here. Do, do, do. Look at it. I mean, you remember my other vlogs where I was like, I had no room. To, you know, these tomatoes are sticking out. And then I have lamb's quarters going here, and it was nuts, right? <laughs> now, now I can just, I can walk over here. <laughs> no problem. No more lamb's quarters. So there we go on that. Well, it's Friday afternoon now. Um, the vlog is already almost 10 minutes long, so I'm just going to wrap this up with a couple of quick um, happy news things that are going on in the garden. And we did do some work this morning. I just 
didn't vlog it for whatever reason. So I'll be talking more about that on other days. But I wanted to show you, first of all, here I started cutting up the lamb's quarters that um, Jerry pulled up from the quote-unquote lamb's quarter garden. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, the stems of the lamb's quarters get pretty woody. And they're going to take a lot longer to decay than the uh, smaller stems of the lamb's quarter. So I want to separate them out. When I'm when we create, the, when we build up the lasagna beds, the woodier stems will be like on top of the wood that we're going to put. They're going to be like part of the wood we put at the bottom. And these will be um, more like with the grass, clipping, grass clippings and stuff. So I just wanted to show you that I did do some work this morning. As we wind our way over, look, check out how my dwarf... This is supposed to only get 18 inches long. I think it's going to get longer. Hello. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, the peppers. Remember that I had a problem with um, a couple of peppers with blossom end rot. Well, I was checking them over earlier today, and so far, they seem to be doing just fine. At least the ones that are within easy reach. I can't feel blossom end rot. I can't see it. Here's another one turning red, and I'm just noticing that just now. I wonder how that's doing. Oh, and this what? I don't know if that's blossom end rot, but I'm I'm not sure. No, that's the stem, silly girl. The end is over here. So yeah, this one's looking good. It's ripening. You see, look at this one. It had blossom end right, but it's turned red anyway. <laughs> anyway, so hmm, maybe most of the peppers will be good. Here's another one turning color. So yeah, all is good. And I wanted to show you what's going on with the tomatoes. I have tomatoes turning red. Oh, now this tomato here looks, looks like it has a spot. But you know, that's going to happen with some of them. But down here, look at I've got a couple of clusters that, I mean, these look like they're about ready to be eaten. Yes. And of course, I showed you the other day, the other vlog, the, with the, my yellow pear tomatoes turning yellow. So, yippee! Things are growing. <clears throat> so that's going to wrap up mostly yesterday's and a little bit of today's vlog. Thanks a lot for watching. Please, please, please share it with your online, share this channel, my channel, this vlog with your online networks if you enjoy it and you think other people will benefit. I will see you for the next video. In the meantime, take care and be well.